Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. Like that. Like that. And then we'll bring it down on this line here so that we've got these guys sort of slap bang in the middle of all of these. Just going to go there. And... That one's going to go there. That leaves me with three wind turbines left to place. So I will put them... I want one more, actually. That's what I would like on this. I think that would fit better with this little square that we've got going on right here. That one's out of line. One of these is out of line. You look at that, that's out of line, but the, there isn't any lines that have changed in here. That one has got to come up, and that one's got to come up. I want to get this, I want to get this straight. Right, are you over this way a bit more then? It does kind of seem right there. And then that one, that's better. That one can go like that. Which means that this one here, too close to another wind turbine, that one can go right there. It doesn't quite line up perfectly, but it's it's close enough. I know that we have got the whole, uh, like, circles, and we're on a giant sphere, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But, yeah, it, it, it is generally, I think, pretty well lined up here. Like that there. Right, I've got a nice little grid going on just there on this part of the planet. That's that's looking pretty good. So now we'll come over to this way and we will go into logistics and we will take a belt coming out of the back of that one which is going to go to there. And that's then going to come this way a bit and then it's going to come over there. I'm going to have a belt coming out the back of that one, which is going to go out a bit over to there. And then it's going to come down here, and it's going to join in there. And then I'm going to have one that comes out here, and it's just going to go straight into the side of that one. So then my main belt is here, and that will go up that way, where I can then start putting down some smelters. Next, I will go back into power just here. I'm going to take a Tesla tower and I'm going to put a couple of these round the edge of these accumulators. I don't know at the moment if that's a beneficial thing to do or not, but they're kind of like all in the power grid here anyway. I'm hoping it's going to be something that's going to be useful. So pop those in, and now I've got power. We can go out over there. Like that. Right, we've got power, we've got extra bits, we've got titanium running out through here, and... These accumulators are starting to fill up a little bit, and then I've got power coming off of there. What have I got in here? We've got generation capacity is 6.3. Consumption demand is 1.26. So consumption demand is actually pretty good at the moment. I want to then change this over, and I want to go... Uh, I'm not going to worry about anything storing that just yet. Actually, you know, there's no reason why we can't. Right, we can just pop one down right in there, and then we can get, like, just slowly fill up a storage facility with some of that ore in there. There is no possible reason why that would be a bad thing, not that I can think of anyway. I'm going to want some more Tesla Towers. So I go there, I've got enough to make 30, so I will make 10 of those. And then we're going to go into production. I've got 18 of these. So we're going to go with a smelter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 
eight, nine, and then I'll come back over this way, and I'm going to do the same over on this side as well, and I'm going to use all 18 smelters overkill, I realise, but I figure if I get it set up now, then later on, everything will be absolutely wonderful and tickety-boo. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use the upgrade facility and I don't want to chain upgrade everything. I just want to upgrade from this point. Over to there. And then I want to upgrade that point. So I've managed to upgrade some of them. I can't upgrade these few right here, which is actually going to be a problem for us. So we need to go back into manufacturing over on this side and go to you. I can make six. And that'll be everything I can make, but it's only those electromagnetic ones. I don't know what other material. I don't think I'm gonna need anything else. I don't think I need to worry about other materials. So I can make 18 of those belts, which is enough to cover what we want. So I just got to wait for those. Actually, you know what? I don't have to wait for those at all. So I will run down through here and we will start putting together this. We First, we want to go in here and select recipe. So we want to make titanium ingots like that. I then want to copy that recipe. And paste that down through all of the rest of these, like that. There we go. That's perfect. And then I can go into logistics at 65 of these bad boys. So I want to put these like this. So that one up that way, that one in that way. I'm going to do that all the way down the belt. That one's in the wrong spot. That doesn't match our pattern. I know I'm not going to be on the planet for quite some time, so that it, 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 it honestly, it's, it's not really going to make much of a difference, but it will make a difference. I will know. I will know. That's what counts. Right. Where was I? That way. Will you stop putting them in the middle? I didn't direct you to put that in the middle. I did not tell you to drop that one into the middle. I told you to drop that one from that point there into here. It did it. Oh, I know why it's doing it. It's because I'm moving. It's, it's, it's where I'm moving this one. So, yeah, that one needs to drop there and... Get rid of that and then go like this. See, if I move the mouse over, that's that's what's doing it. Okay, well, if as long as I know. As long as I know what's causing it. Yeah, we'll go and put those down there like that. And then we can go back to these so I can go in there. Right. Yeah, see, now that I know what was causing that, I can... That end one, I want that to go on one step further, like that, so that I can have that one in there. Right, now I'm going to have to build another belt on the outside edge of this. Before I do that, we will upgrade that bit. That's now upgraded. I've got the fast belt running through the middle of that. Fast belt from that bit right there. Everything else is slow belt, and you are busy filling up with titanium ore, which is really, really good. I don't know how to get this off the planet yet. There is a, another system where I can have this being shipped from here to my planet, which will probably end up making things a bit easier, but I don't know how to do that yet, so we'll worry about that later. Logistics over here. So we're going to bring this one. I'm all right there with the belt, so I'm going to bring that one back this way and I'm going to do the same over here as well let's have a look that one's here like this 
and that goes all the way over to there, like that. Now, I don't actually need, if I, if I zoom in a little bit, I don't actually need that belt on the end of each of these. So I can get rid of that one and that one, like that. Now we'll come in here and I need more of those. So I want to just keep bringing that one out. Like this. All the way down through. Actually, I can have a look at it coming out over on this side as well as we work down through we can sort of do both sides kill two birds with one stone kind of thing uh, like that oops here right there little bit more There's one more on that side and then I've got three over on here Okay, so I've now got a massive, great, big smelting facility all kind of like joined in together. I will take you this way. You will go up into the air like that. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to just bring the belt to the center. Like that. And then bring it back down again. That will click straight back into there. Perfect. Right, now everything is fully loaded, locked and loaded and ready to go. All I've got to do is join in the power facilities. Power facilities are going to have to go on the outside edge on both of these. So that one's going to have to go there and that one's going to have to go there. And then you will go this side and this side. Like that. And boom, everything has started up immediately. We've got a pretty fast set of belts going here and chucking everything in, but there's still not quite fast enough to keep up with everything that we're going to want on here. I wonder if it will be faster still if I was to just upgrade one extra bit of conveyor just there. I don't think that's going to make a difference to it. Try it. Yeah, I like that. Does that help or not? I can also leave that titanium ore behind. I don't need to be carrying it around anymore. Right, the speed that that comes out of these mining drills compared to the speed that it runs into here we don't act we're not able to keep all of those running we need the mining drills to go faster than they're going in order to be able to do that let's have a look right here satisfaction we're borderline on what we can do there but we are still doing it so i'm i'm happy with that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring that belt all the way over there like that and then i'm going to go here with storage so i've got seven of those I'm going to go into the replicator though and I'm going to have a look at this bigger option that we've got right here. Small one is iron and stone. This one is steel and stone. I haven't made any of these. And I'm going to make ten of these because we're going to want a lot of these. There, I'm just going to whack together ten of them. We're going to want a lot of storage. All right, I feel that a lot of storage available to us would be quite useful. I will do them end on like that. So I will put one down there like that. Magnetic particle trap. You unlock particle container which can fix the particles in certain positions and guide them to show some characteristics. Quite know what that means but I'm sure it's very useful. And we can put that one onto there. Another one on the top and that's it. We can go three high on our storage right here. So I will do that again. Three high on there. One, two, three on there. And I'm going to go into the replicator. So I'm going to build two. I'm going to build five more of these. Knock that back down to five and produce five of them there like that. So I go one, two, and three in there. And then I just got one more that I want to build here. 
Just waiting for them to actually build. There's one and two, and then one more. Three. Right. I've now got 15 of these storages right here. That's a lot of storage. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to go to logistics. I'm just going to take that one. I'm going to put one there in the middle, one there in the middle, one there, one there, and one there like that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get rid of that end bit of belt. I am going to go here with Tesla Towers and I'm going to knock those down there like that and knock them in there. And that's going to start loading all of these up. So if I look in here, capacity for automation 60 in there. The top one is that top one there is 60. Oh, I see. There, you can see little green lines on the outside edge. Showing where I'm looking. So, look on the bottom one. I've got 47 in there. A stack of 60. And then I go to... The top line is none up here. But they will go and... S I I'm assuming that they will fill those up as well. So, I'm going to have... 60 in there... 60 in the next slide, so it's 180 stacks, and they stack to 200, no, they stack to 100, so that's uh, 100 times 180 times 5. 90,000 pieces of titanium. I think 90,000 pieces is probably going to be okay for us. 90... Uh, 60, yeah. 180 times 100. That is right. 180 times 100 times by 5 is 90,000. We will have 90,000 titanium ingots stored over here, which I think is pretty good. So I'm just going to gather, uh, just let the process run for a little bit. So that then I can carry back to our home planet as many as we can possibly carry. I've got another mining drill. These aren't quite able to push through everything that we want to. But what I was wondering is if I went stuck my other mining drill over here, I don't think I've got enough materials to go and make anymore because I've run out of iron. I've only got like three bits of iron ingot left. Let's just have a look in here. No, I can't, so I can't go and make any more of them. I don't have enough materials with me to make any more but what I could do is I could go and take this one bring it over here like this let's drop back down to the ground here a second and put that right in there kind of like that can I get any more there we go right I've got 500 and I've got access to 552,000 from there Plonk that one down like that. I've got seven of these, which should be enough to bring the power over like this to that one. High strength crystals are done. Tain a special titanium atom crystal, the titanium crystal. Right, we're now working on another bit over here. We can just leave that one. It's still running nicely. So there's a little bit more space in our bags. And then what I can go and do is go into here. I've got 365 of these. That's just perfect. So I can drop that out there on the back of that one. And that can start working immediately. And then these can come on out like this and start bringing the titanium out so then I can go all the way up here like that and put those down I'll run back over this way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this in here right where it goes changes over to a green belt like that and that one will join right in there now that's not actually a green belt in there so what I want to do then is I want to upgrade that belt why didn't you upgrade 
there. Upgrade that one. Upgrade. Upgrade. The reason I'm doing a couple of extra upgrades on top of what I've already got is purely so that I can use up the last of the belt that I've got there. I've got a little bit of titanium ore right there, which I'm going to drop in. That's now out of the way. I've got stone there. I've got one piece of iron ore right there. Which I'm just going to delete. So I can get rid of that one like that. Uh, two silicon crystals. 35 pieces of stone. I could get like 35 bits of stone. We can dip, We can get rid of that. That's, that's completely worthless essentially. Uh, in here I can go and put in another 10 of those. So that I've got them out of the way. I've got one assembling machine here. I've got one micro crystalline component that I'm carting about. I've got these 14 organic crystals. See, I don't know about those. They might be useful. More useful than some of this other stuff, at least. Three bits of iron. I'm, I, I don't want to do anything with those anymore, so we get rid of them. And these two silicon ore crystals, we get rid of them. Bring that up. I've now got a half a bag. Like if I fill, if I get all the titanium to fill that bit up right there, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves. So let's go over this side now, and then we'll go in there. And I've got uh, control shift there. I dump everything in, and then I go to this one, and I do the same, and I do this one the same, and then I do this one the same like that. I've now got. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 3,000 titanium ingots in there. And then this planet is able to just carry on and set everything up in here. We don't need to worry about it. So we're going into flight mode like this. And then we're going to press spacebar until we are out of the planet. And then we're just going to go out of the altitude area. Just like that, until it says nearest astronomical object like that. Okay, now where is our planet? Capella 1 over there, that's not the one that we want. Let's have a look at the star then. We want to just sort of look around the general vicinity. There's a 2.15 light years away. There's one, Capella 2 is over the other side of the sun. Where's Capella 3? Oh, it's over there. Right. We go to Capella 3. So you press shift like that. And then that boosts us to really increase sail speed. But you've got to be careful that you don't overdo it. Because it burns all your energy. And slowing down the sail speed, as we have discovered, also makes life a little bit difficult. Now, we will eventually be able to fly to other star systems. I don't want to do that just yet. Not too concerned about flying to other star systems. We're going to bring this in steady. I'm not going to go too far. I'm curious what would happen if I go at this sail speed and I fly straight into our planet over there. Let's zoom in a bit. And we'll keep sail speed at 580. Are we going to have a bad accident doing this or what? Oh, it, it just auto slows us down. Right. That's all right. I can cope with that. Now, where is all of my... Mani oh, there it is. There's all of my manufacturing. Right. Boom. Right. So you can literally just come in and crash land. So I'm now just in normal flight mode. I overshot everything that we had. Oh, wait, I can see on the minimap there. If I go this way, I'm going towards everything that we want. And I'm carrying a large quantity of titanium. I'm carrying a huge, huge quantity of titanium. So let's bring you forward. Down like this, I've got titanium coming over here. It's going into that one and coming back out again. Uh, the crystals are still going. These crystals here are completely filled up. 
solar panels now we're producing quite a few of those and if we go over this way and we have a look in here we've got them we're producing quite a few the slow point is these is actually the slow point is those over there that's fine they don't need to be fast production we've got pretty much all of those that we could want anyway so then we want to look over here so we are waiting on this we're waiting on the high purity silicon we want some more of that coming in and at the moment we can make it from stone if we go and actually have a look at our map over here that is capella 4 we are on capella 1 doesn't show the stuff that we had on there but it was capella 1 that we were on wind energy ratio 150 percent and you can see now i'm using up the titanium ore on capella 1 i'm already using that up there isn't any silicon ore on capella 1 capella 2 over here has no titanium but it does have a boatload of silicon ore replicator plus 50 percent you've unlocked assembling machine mark 2 you can now process raw materials more efficiently and also increase the replicator speed by 50 percent all right so it's a faster replicator speed let's go back into you and then i want to go to research so we've got one more research thing that's going on which is these ray receivers right here High strength, lightweight structure there. I can't do that one yet. Interstellar matrix, I can't do that. That one, structure matrix. I want that one next. And then I'll be able to start doing some of these others with the yellow in, but I can't make the... Uh, I'm not making yellows yet, so we'll go with anything that is not using those yellow blocks. Line those up a minute. That one's going to be wanting the yellow ones. This one's not. We can get that one. We've into pla uh, planetary logistics. Planetary transportation can be realized through logistics station logistics drone. After the materials technology reaches a certain level, logistics drones will automatically transport the items after the supply demand data is set up. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't know how it's going to work. I, I don't know how to do it, but we, we will do whatever we can with that. Uh, the rest of these required yellow blocks. Let's start adding in some of the ones with the yellow blocks then. We want more energy in our mecha core. That would be rather handy, I feel. Energy circuit in here. Increase the recover speed. So why can't I queue you up? Why aren't you ready yet? Solar cell life plus 150 seconds of solar cell life. Let's add that in. Sort of cargo stacking. Let's add that one in. Uh, that's kind of everything that we can put in on there at the moment. So we'll come out of that and we'll leave those to work. And... Well, that's it for a second. I, uh, I've i got 200 of them. That's fine. I'm going to need those. Because the next thing that I wanted to sort of have at least something making was these processors right here. So I need electronic circuits and then I need these that I'm making in here. Some of these other materials so many materials that we're going to need to be making what 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 is that recipe graphene advanced what's those square plastic that is, is actually square plastic unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today if you'd like to help support the channel, then please check out the affiliated links in the description down below. There's one for Nitrado, who supply gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. There's also Fanatical, who sell a lot of different computer games. If you use the link and also that code in the description, you will actually get a small discount applied to you, and I earn a commission on anything you buy, so you are supporting me by supporting your own gaming habit if you've enjoyed this episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later